Hi, Ryan Zupan here with the Mortgage Center Citywide. Today we're starting a new series of videos on fixed and variable rate mortgages. We're going to talk about fixed versus variable, uh, you know, qualifying for fixed versus variable penalties, what determines these rates, any question you can think of related to these topics, uh, I'm going to cover in the upcoming weeks, so stay tuned. Today though, we're going to start by talking about the basics. What is a variable rate mortgage? With a variable rate mortgage, as you can guess by the name, the interest rate changes throughout the term. So your interest rate will be tied to the bank's prime rate. You're going to have some kind of discount to prime. So right now a good discount is prime minus 0.8%. So no matter where prime rate goes throughout the term, you will always be 0.8% below that mark. Right now prime rate is 3%, so your interest rate would be 2.2%. Now if the big bank's uh, economists are correct, and by the end of this year prime has increased by 1%, if it's gone from 3 to 4%, then your interest rate at that time would be 3.2%. You'll always have that discount. Now within the variable, there's two types. You have an open mortgage and a closed mortgage. With an open mortgage, you have the freedom to pay down that mortgage at any time without a penalty. With a closed mortgage, if you want to exceed your prepayment privileges or if you want to end the mortgage early, you have to pay the penalty of three months interest. Now, uh, generally speaking, unless you're planning on selling the home in a few months, it's better to go with a closed variable rate mortgage. The reason being with an open mortgage, instead of prime minus, say 0.8%, you're looking at prime plus 1%. So instead of 2.2%, you're at 4%. Because the rate is so much higher and you're paying so much more interest compared to a closed variable, um, it's likely going to be better for you to go with the closed variable and just pay that penalty. Uh, especially if you're going to keep the home for uh, a year or longer. I can run these numbers for you though, depending on your situation, and we can find the best match. Now within closed variable rate mortgages, you have two types. We have the fixed amortization and fixed payment. I'll talk about the fixed payment first because this is the more rare of the two. With a fixed payment variable rate mortgage, as your interest rate changes, your payment stays the same, but your amortization will change. So if interest rates go up, uh, your amortization is going to increase. If interest rates go down, this is great because your amortization is going to shrink and you don't have to do anything at all. So this type of mortgage is excellent if mortgage rates are, if we're in a declining uh, interest rate environment. But if we're in the interest rate environment that we're facing today, where rates are expected to increase, this type of mortgage can get you into a lot of trouble because your payment's going to stay the same your amortization is just going to increase as prime increases and you might get yourself into a lot of trouble because this amortization is going to grow and grow and you're going to eventually need to change that payment to get a handle on it. Um, the other type of variable rate mortgage is the fixed amortization. This is the standard variable that most institutions offer. This is the type of variable where your payment changes. Your amortization remains the same. It's just your payment that will change that to reflect uh, changes in, in prime rate. So if interest rates go up, your payments go up. If interest rates go down, your payments go down. If you want a fixed payment variable, what I would recommend is going with the, the fixed amortization variable, but just fixing your payments at a higher level. I've actually done a video on this, what is a variable rate mortgage strategy. Um, so go to my website or um, search YouTube for uh, videos on that. Um, but yeah, this wraps up uh, the very basics of a variable rate mortgage. If you'd like more information on this or to get pre-approved, contact me. I'm Ryan at the Mortgage Center Citywide or tune into my next video where we're going to talk about where does this variable rate come from? Who determines my variable rate mortgage?